Yo, what's up? This is your girl Dragon, and welcome to the FCHQ playtesting event for week 109. We're going to be testing some awesome maps for design, ease of play, originality, and creativity. So come on, let's go check them out. All right, first up we got Primitive Gun Wars by Creative Drix. Now on his Twitter it states he is a Fortnite map maker and his creative code is Creative Drix. And the island is laid out very well with a great instructional lobby. And I really like how you provided the instructions in more than one language because that helps you reach a larger audience. And by the way, the game area looks great. Very cool use of mechanics by including a day and night cycle. And the wildlife and weapon upgrades by eliminations. Great job. I did feel that the nighttime wasn't dark enough. So maybe distinguishing between the two by adding a little contrast would do just fine. Now getting into the gameplay is very easy and everyone had a great time, there was no issues. And we even had a pickaxe battle, the very first play test. It was fun. Another thing I want to point out is that Nightwolf did discover a very interesting advantage. Players can actually camp in the storm and emote and just use that as an advantage to the game. Other than that, it can be a little fun thing. There's no really no big issues with that. I can just see players having fun with it. So just wanted to bring that to your attention. Plus, there was a secret that no one was able to find. I sent you a message on Twitter and you let me know, just be a little patient. I am waiting on that. I do hope you drop more hints, but other than that, everyone had a great time and enjoyed the gameplay. And your final score is a 72. Let's go, good job. Next up is National Park Hide and Seek by Dodo for Life. His bio from FCHQ states, he's making a lot of different games in Fortnite Creative, and his creative code is Dodo for Life. I wanna say, very, very cool lobby that's very informative and fitting to the theme. And overall, you have captured what it's like to be in a national park. And I mean that from the custom-made lake and caves to the RV park area. Everything looks really inviting and very beautiful. Now there is just a few minor landscaping issues and those can be easily fixed. For instance, I saw some misalignments in the river. But other than that, this is quite well done. Great job. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful. It's just, it's really nice. Now, it was also agreed collectively by all that this would make an awesome open world. How you used your mechanics when people would hide, they couldn't move, this was a very, very great idea, so good job. Now I do want to end with don't give up, because I've seen that you've been working on this for so long, and I read the um, previous feedback that Hay provided to you, and you did take those pointers, so very great job on that. 
you filled in areas of missing water, and you also clean up areas where players might fall through the map, you added a timer, and that is fantastic. And if I had to summarize it all up, I think you should focus on your player needs, reduce the time that it takes because it is a bit long for players um, when they come into the game because the island is so big for a hide and seek. But again, it's still so beautiful. Um, but try to condense that gameplay experience for the seekers and work on that alignment in the water and I feel like you'll be all good. Other than that, this is your final rating of 59. Let's go. Good job. Next up, we got Sector B2 Aliens vs. Survivors by Mrs. True Legend. Now, on her FCHQ bio, it states that she is a content creator and a level designer. Her creator code is Mrs. True Legend. Now, very well executed design from the pre-game lobby to the gameplay, kudos on that. There was no element missed here from the UFOs to the base design. There's even a cave tunnel and that's pretty cool. Very creative from the effects placed on the UFOs to how you use the zombies throughout the map. It's these little details that matter and you executed them very well. Now the only issue and it's so sad is that when we did the first play test and the second play test and the third play test we did not spawn with weapons and we were not able to fully engage in this map. Um, so it was really, really sad about that. Please be sure to check out the stream VOD so you can see what I mean. But regardless, very beautiful design, and we do hope to experience this again. I do encourage a resubmission because this is just too awesome. Your final rating is a 59. Let's go. Good job. Last but not least, we have Bindi and the Ink Machine, Chapter 3, Part 3, by Tatamir21. Now on his FCHQ bio states he is an upcoming map maker and would love any suggestions on what he should make next. You might know him from Bendy in the Ink Machine Chapter 3 Part 2, which was one of the maps I playtested last week, and his creator code is Tatamia21. I first want to say of course, I loved it. I had a great experience playtesting Part 3. And everyone needs to play this entire series. The design is laid out very well and perfect for the flow of the story. And this is just really, really good. And in regards to ease of play, I did have a hard time coming from chapter two because I was unable to finish that one. And when I came into chapter 3, I was lost. I was not sure what was going on. It took me about 26 minutes before I was able to start making progress. And all I can say is the projectionist is really good at his job. It was really challenging, but proved worth it in the end. Mechanics were very well done here kudos no complaints on that and everything that you've done really gets the player into the game and keeps them playing keeps them interested and that's really good 
Regardless, I really enjoyed this map and I hope that others will take the time to experience it as well. Your final rating is a 70. Good job. All right, you guys, that's going to do it for this video. And I do hope you enjoyed all the islands. They were great. And if you want to join me on my next play test for FCHQ, be sure to join the FCHQ Discord. The link will be posted below. Other than that, let's go ahead and announce the participation winners. Let's do it. All right, we had a lot of participants this playtest, and I thank you all so much. The Eclipse 7, Ninja, Bird, Dino, Yakso, Soyo, Elsie, Simp, <laughs> the list is going so fast. And that, you guys are all awesome, and I do hope I see you on the next playtest. This is going to be the end of this video, and I'm going to have to see you guys on the next one. This is your girl, Jagan, signing off. Bye!